Uncomst by Goral Gabrielson, beautifully translated, I have to say, by Deborah Dorkin. And this is set, it's a novella set in the northern part of Norway, so it is an expanse of white snow, ice, sub-zero temperatures, and a very unforgiving terrain. It is published by Perrine Press, and this is a boutique publisher who specialises in literature, novellas, that are usually under 200 pages long, uh, of European literature, which they bring to English readers. Um, their books are always beautifully published, they feel like quality, the paper comes from sustainable sources, and on the back you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but 50p goes to um, refugee charities. So, um, you know, they are a very thoughtful publisher and um, beautifully produced books and always quite thought provoking. An unnamed scientist, a woman, uh, takes herself up to the northern part of Norway to do some research and she's checking out what the implications of climate change are on the bird population right up there. So she comes to this little hut which has barely a sleeping place, a um, couple of chairs, she has to have supplies brought in every couple of weeks, uh, there's an outside loo, and you get a real sense that she has deposited herself there and she has nothing to stimulate her from the outside apart from her work and therefore she gets thinking about herself, um, her life and her relationship with her daughter and her new lover and she also goes back 140 years because she discovers that a family, um, you know, mum and dad and children had experienced a terrible fire and this becomes all part of her creative thinking uh, while she's there. When you are confronted by no external stimulus, so she barely has a phone, she can occasionally Skype, but reception's pretty dodgy, it gets you thinking about what you have to rely upon, um, and it's your inner mental workings and emotional resources that get you thinking about how you would cope if you're not stimulated by television, by uh, the colours in the environment, by uh, human interaction. And so she often looks forward to speaking to Joe. Uh, Joe's her lover. And you can sense that he's perhaps not very engaged. He certainly voiced his reservations about her going to this part of the world and leaving behind her young daughter, Lena in the care of her ex-husband, uh, I think, or partner. Um, and this ex-partner has been violent and quite why she has left her daughter with him. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure. And I guess she has to do those thinking processes as well. So this is very much a story of one person in a hostile environment, um, really, running the knife edge between sanity and insanity and I think it is beautifully portrayed, really beautifully drawn um, and it really gets you thinking about you know who you are, what part you play in the environment that you know in which you find yourself um, and I think it's a very very thought-provoking short novella um, so if you're looking for something stimulating to read, and I would say all the books from Perrine Press are, you know, really thoughtful, um, interesting and often unusual. So Uncomst, give it a try because I think it's a very, um, a very good read.